Rupert Grint says he would play Ron again in New Hope. Oh, I hold Ron in a very, he's, he's a very kind of special character to me, I guess. I think over the years we kind of became the same person, so I'm quite protective of him. Yeah, never say never. I, I, I've loved playing him. Hey, I'm Rupert Grint, and Esquire has asked me to explain some things about my life and career. Let's dive in, shall we? I do. Yeah, no, I remember this. Was, I mean, this is this is there's hundreds and hundreds of examples of this, and me and Dan were notoriously pretty bad. I mean, it was ever we kind of had a scene together. I remember the in the first film where the this, during the scene where we're on the way to Hogwarts in the train, we're in the compartment eating all the sweets. I'm Ron, by the way, Ron Weasley. We were never actually really in the same compartment when we did that. We couldn't look at each other, so we had to film each other's kind of close-ups separately because um, we just couldn't look each other in the eye and keep a straight face. Uh, but this this one, I remember this scene. This scene was a line that I do. I was eventually cut because I couldn't really get it out. And it was like, I think I was threatening Seamus and saying, oh, do you want a fistful of Weasley? Yeah, I don't know. It was just something about a fistful of Weasley. I found hysterical. And uh, yeah, it eventually got cut because I, I couldn't say it. Rupert Green considers quitting Hollywood to become a builder now his dad. I don't know if I don't know if I'd I don't know if I'd quit to become a builder. I mean I do like kind of I'm quite handy around the house. I love kind of my tools. But I can't really see it as a kind of career change for me. But you never know. I could uh, it's it's possible. Rupert Green has the best facial expressions. Oh. I've never really kind of been fully in control of my face. I think back when I was a kid, more so, that it just used to do things. And I, and I had no idea I was doing it. But yeah, I mean, there's some mad ones. I always remember in the flying car when I do that kind of turn. It's just insane. But yeah, I think when you're that age as well, you're fearless. You just kind of do anything. Can I copy your homework? Yeah, just change it up a bit so it doesn't look obviously copied. Yeah, this is when I did the, I did an Ed Sheeran video. Kind of early on in, Ed, I don't, Ed Sheeran was kind of just becoming a thing. And I played a kind of obsessed fan that wanted to be Ed. And I guess we have some sort of resemblance. I mean, people still come up to me thinking I'm Ed and compliment me on my album. <laughs> a lot of those kind of early films were a lot of me eating a lot of food. But yeah, this was, ama like, this was amazing because they, they made all of this. This is before kind of you could buy all the kind of Harry Potter sweets in stores and everywhere. It was, they, they kind of made everything, like the chocolate frog. I remember the beans, the every flavor beans, they had like people, like scientists working on how to get the flavor, to actually flavor the beans. And there was like grass flavor and it was, and for, for, for like an 11 year old who was a huge fan of the books, it was just insane that this was all kind of coming straight off the page. How are you going to spend your first paycheck? I remember this, pre this, pre this was the press conference when we kind of first got the part. I just turned 11, I think. And they put us up in this kind of really fancy hotel and there was like this huge press conference and I'd never had an interview before. So it was, everything was kind of new. Because it's my first ever film audition it was. So I was very nervous. Yeah, it was a very kind of overwhelming time. It just suddenly everything changed. And then after that, nothing was ever the same. And uh, yeah, it's insane, it's, it's mad. I've still got the same hair, it's kind of, most alarming thing. Rupert Grint says he would play Ron again in New Hope. Oh, I hold Ron in a very, he's, he's a very kind of special character to me, I guess. I think over the years we kind of became the same person, so I'm quite protective of him. So yeah, I think I could foresee it in the, I don't know in what capacity that would be. I don't know, I, I kind of like how we ended as well. I think it was a, it was a good time to end, but I mean, yeah, never say never. I, I, I've loved playing him. So, um, yeah, I could, I could see it. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember this. He was doing a documentary about fandom and he turned up, I was doing a play in New York and he turned up at the stage door dressed as a fan. Very convincing, completely fooled me. So I think I signed something for him, but then, yeah, I, I, I twigged his voice, he couldn't quite hide. I think this has been kind of, after Potter, this has been one of my favourite things I've ever worked on. I've always been a big fan of Night, Sixth Sense, I was a huge fan of that movie. 
and everything he's done. And uh, yeah, it's just a really fun show. It's a really weird show. It's, as you'd expect, pretty creepy and kind of so many different kind of things happen and it's, yeah, it's hard to kind of follow at times, but it's, yeah, it's been so much fun. Oh, congratulations to Harry Potter star Rubicon, who's achieved a new record for the fastest. Yeah, that was insane. I never really thought Instagram was really for me. I just thought, why not? Might as well now, especially this year we've had it's. I've had a, just recently had a baby, so it was a good time to kind of show. I, I, I don't know, it, it just kind of, that was, yeah, insane that it's a Guinness World Record. Um, pretty proud of that one. Well, I hope that explains some things, or maybe kind of has more, you have more questions. <laughs> but thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you soon.